Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play Lennis 2 on the Mysterious JG. Uh, at this point in my LPing, I have actually posted one of these videos recorded overseas. I had to lower the... Basically, I had to like really compress the videos down small to make the files small enough to upload on the internet connection that's available to me in the time that was available to me. So, apologies if the quality of them is quite low. At this point, I uploaded one, but I haven't actually seen whether anybody has uh, watched or commented yet. So I'm operating under the assumption that everyone's really happy that this LP is back, and that a bunch of you aren't acting like dicks about the fact that the quality, uh, visual quality isn't that high. Because, well, yeah, you're probably getting some kind of blurry text and whatnot, but hey, you don't need to be watching this thing on your HGTVs, people. Anyway. Nikita earned some W2. And uh, we had to kill Jubal early, which was sad, but he's... Thank you, Ferris. Say, 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 thank you, Ferris. I say, say. At least now I can rest, knowing that my soul was not stolen by Granada. I hope I was able to redeem myself to be a valuable service to the Confederacy and potentate Petro. Oh, Ferris. Please tell potentate Pedro that I apologize. Goodbye, my family. Goodbye, and God bless. Ferris, thank you for <coughs> continuing to be the focus of my attention even as I die. And my family barely gets a thought. I mean, thank you. Oh, darling, hang in there. We can pull through this together. <coughs> Ellipsis. Ferris, the great union is meant to be between man and woman as a southern red state voter. I can't abide the notion that marriage has been assaulted by sharks. I'm sorry. <coughs> the great union, Elton Lennis. Lennis? Whoa, hold on. Wait a second. I need to get some water here. I think, I think Elts is where we are now. Lennis is the pal the planet from Paladin's Quest. So, do we get to, like, actually see Lennis in this game? Is Lennis actually going to be part of this game? I was kind of wondering about that. They uh, didn't seem to have a lot... I mean, they have similar design to the world, and um, the species are totally different that we're seeing. But, hey, he is the immortal Rigan. So, yeah, Lennis. Could get interesting, folks. I'm a sucker for games that reference the previous games in the series. I mean, I've read a lot of reviews of sci-fi stuff. Um, mostly, it's a thing that comes out of the fact that I like Doctor Who. And uh, for Christmas one year, I got like you know some Doctor Who-related book where it was like a guy writing essays and stuff about Doctor Who and the old series, the one that um, was canceled in the '80s. And um, the people who are fans of Doctor Who are you know, they would object to this and uh, probably put think too much of it, but they're kind of, in a way, the British version of Star Trek fans uh, in the sense of Star Trek fans being, like, kind of obsessive about, you know, detail and, and continuity and stuff. But uh, Doctor Who fans, like, there's a lot of... They would argue amongst themselves about whether stories that had continuity references to other stories make it tough for other people to become fans. And, oh, I'm getting way off on a tangent here, but... Yeah, I'm always a sucker for... Um, so some people hate continuity references in any kind of media because they think that it's just like, oh, it's turning into this nerd thing where nobody else cares. But, like, I, I love it when they bring stuff from old games in. Even if it's, like, completely stupid and pointless. Like in Final Fantasy X2, where there's a character named Shinra, and then they kind of make some vague reference later in the game to uh, getting energy from the planet's core and how he's fascinated by the concept of what could happen. And you're like, is this Shinra supposed to be the ancestor of the people who made Shinra Corporation in Final Fantasy VII? And you're like, doesn't really matter, doesn't make sense, doesn't doesn't impact either game, but it's still fun. I don't know, can't help it, I'm sorry. Let's get back to Lennis, though. Oh, Father, please don't leave us. I, I don't care about money anymore. Ferris, please distract me from my irritating family. You are the... Actor, uh, what? Rigas. Uh, don't 
go, Father. You can't die. The curse must be broken. The curse must be broken like the first morning. Open your eyes, Father. Come back, Father. Come back and live together with us again. Well, I can't rightly figure how that could happen now. I plum feel so mean and ornery and rotten now. Blessed if I don't. Forgive me, Ferris. I'm sorry for getting you involved. Like I mentioned in a previous video, I just got... Actually, have have at this point just finished reading Huckleberry Finn, and um, now I cannot remember any of the ridiculous southern uh, language that was used. Huh. Yeah, for the great American novel, it really has kind of an anticlimactic ending. But anyway. <clears throat> this blonde of my husband, please take it. I reckon it might come in handy. Ferris got the life corsage, but I'm feared that it won't be equipable by a male character. Ferris put it in his tool bag. Life corsage was acquired. That's nice and all, but... So life corsage is what I got out of all that? I wonder what happened if I never actually completed this quest. Anyway, let's see if he can equip the life corsage. She's got a sexy dress. She's got a sex dress. Sex, a sex dress. A sex. I think Iris had a life corsage in the last game. Or not Iris. I mean, she was called something else. But the character who makes you buy a bunch of shit for her had a life corsage. Oh, it's a weapon. It's a whoppet. Oh, it increases your speed drastically. And decreases your attack. It probably drains life, though. Or something. I don't know. I can't really be bothered to worry about it. I have not encountered any real difficulty in this game so far. Thanks in part to my... Like, Crazy off-screen leveling. My husband was simply tumped into a tone for his shortcomings all by himself. How tragic. If only he had a woman who cared about him to help. Oh, I suppose I probably should have helped him. Father really was really a very kind man. I think mankind is a kind man. He left home to protect Julia and me. But all we wanted was for him to come back home and live with us, as I say. So if, like, if I had done a Foghorn Leghorn voice, would his son then be like the little chicken hawk character that, or... Granada! Oh, how I hate Granada! If only I had known the significance of Father's curse! Oh, Ferris, please take revenge for what Granada did to Father. If you don't, then I... Dot, dot, dot. I'll kick you in the nuts! And the immortal Rigan, having been threatened with a nut kicking, proceeds to save the world. Someone told me you people killed the master of the house. How dare you? How dare you? She has purple head, too. Uh, purple hair. She's kind of Ayaka esque I have nothing in this house for you to eat. Now get out of here. Oh, so the servants blame you. And it is appropriate that this, like, southern, uh... Southern gentrified family would have servants in the house. I'm just glad that they, you know, don't have lawn jockeys. I heard what happened. Sorry about all the trouble. I now talk like Jubal for some reason. Okay, so almost half the video is gone and really haven't done anything except leave. That's fine. Oh, you know what? Let's go back to, uh,. I was looking online for facts for this game, and I think I may have come across something that I'm supposed to do. Because by this point... Hey, where's the guy with the... Where's the bread line? I think I'm supposed to be able to do something about that now. Is the bread line not here?
Oh, Tranquil Hill is a different place. Is this... No, Tranquil Hill is a different place. It's not the place of the breadline, though. Yeah, there's a whole lot of stuff I haven't really explored yet. People are really buzzing around inside these churches. Is something unusual about to happen? Yeah, this place is creepy as shit. These churches have amazing air just date back to times of antiquity. Oh, this is a train depot. I shouldn't be frame skipping around here. This place has music we haven't heard all the way through yet. At least not while I was recording. When I say we, I guess that's kind of implied. The followers of the White Cross are faithful as a potentate patron, but the Black Cross utterly despises him with all of its dark, misguided passion. Because he's a gentleman, potentate patron allows the Black Cross to go in peace, but ever foreboding that something terrible is about to happen. Uh, the Great Union, like two equal and opposite forces meeting. Is there some kind of thematic thing going on here? Hey, dear, the White Cross has it offered a handsome reward to a strong man with the utmost confidence in his abilities. If you have some skills, you should grab the challenge. I guess we'll go see them before we see the Black Cross. We're looking for a strong man. Are you the one, Billy Gunn? Yes. Oh, you are such a hero. Yeah, sure. For real? See, you must have great confidence yourself if you consider yourself a hero. In that case, will you be tested? You will be tested. Agreed? Sure. I'm the strongest member of the Order of the White Cross. Now show me your power. Right now, I'm just curious if you say no. Are you the one? I see. Be strong, man. Tell him to come here. Alright. Oh, just what I expected. Another fraud. Be gone, braggart. We don't have time for pretenders. Be a strong man. Tell him to come here. Mankind is a kind man. Alright, so let's take out this dude. Oh, wow. All of us get to fight her together. It doesn't really seem fair. It's like we're supposed to be proving that we're like... Of an, an individually powerful dude. Well, I guess we didn't heal after fighting the last boss, so that makes it fair ish. But not really. It's like, I wanted to fight Ferris, not Ferris and his three girlfriends. Anyway, flamethrower, ho ho. Yeah, alright, let's go all out. I was gonna try to spare our bottles, but we can get free bottles, so why am I doing that? Just trying to make the game a little bit more challenging, I guess. This guy might not even survive the turn, so what am I worried about? Yep, see? <laughs> Ferris and the party won the battle against this one dude who wanted to fight Ferris one on one. Oh, my lord! Glory be, the hero has appeared. Praise Jesus. Now we can find the seventh seal before the evil ones lay their grubby hands on it. Would you please do me the honor of telling me your name? Ferris told the acolyte his name. Hey, he didn't even let me lie to him. What, really? Sir Ferris? You are Sir Ferris? Oh my, so the prophecies were true. Come right this way. You must meet Bishop Pasco. And potentate... Bishko and Eric Bischoff and other luminaries. Oh, you're a true hero. You're a hero. If you come in, hero, please come in, hero. You're a hero. Hero Huey. I'll kill you. I mean, how could you like Gundam Wing? The main, the hero character's name is Hero. I mean, how lame is that? Oh, it's another old man. Old oh, man, take a look at my. Wow, talk right into his massive ear. Oh, Sir Ferris. I should come up with a voice for Pasco. Oh, Sir Ferris, I've waited so long for this moment. We have been searching for a special hero who would fight on our behalf. But I never expected that Sir Ferris would answer the call. We of the White Cross know that Sir Ferris is the young Rygan that comes from the underworld. You like that those horrible movies where vampires fight lycanthropes? We also know the danger is drawing much closer, Senor. Oh, Sir Ferris, will you help? Why are you saving your game? Are you going to say no just to be a dick? Huh? 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 That's strange. You are Sir Ferris, are you not? Surely you are Sir Ferris? Sir Ferris the hero? Hero Sir Ferris, Ferris, hero Sir Ferris... Alright folks, uh, when we come back, we will actually agree to help this guy instead of being jerks. Uh, and hopefully I will at some point figure out um, the off-screen shenanigans where I um, got our winking party member married and then she kind of disappeared from the story. Whether or not we're meant to actually do that. 
these are all things that we'll figure out in later videos, folks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.